Welcome to Educatio Publishing. Today, we're excited to bring you a special video featuring 25 biology questions with detailed answers for the HESI exam. Whether you're gearing up for the test or simply eager to enhance your biology knowledge, this video is tailored just for you. Get ready to dive into the world of biology with us and ace your HESI exam. Let's get started. Biology, 25 items, suggested time, 21 minutes. Question one, what organelle is in charge of making proteins? A, mitochondrion, B, vacuole, C, cell membrane, D, ribosome. Answer, these bead-like organelles are located in the cytoplasm of nearly all cells on the rough endoplasmic reticulum. They assemble the proteins that the cell uses to grow, repair itself, and control processes. Question two, for what purpose is yeast employed to induce rising in bread? A, it engages in photosynthesis, which produces oxygen gas. B, carbon dioxide forms while yeast carries out photosynthesis. C, yeast carries out fermentation, producing ethanol and carbon dioxide. D, yeast breathes in oxygen and produces carbon dioxide through aerobic respiration. Answer C, the products of fermentation are ethanol and carbon dioxide. It is the latter that causes the dough to rise. Question three, what distinguishes mitosis from meiosis? A, mitosis is the process by which sex cells are formed. B, meiosis creates cells with half the chromosomes of the parent cell. C, telophase does not take place in mitosis. D, spermatogenesis and oogenesis occur via mitosis. Answer, B, mitosis creates cells that are exact copies of each other down to the number of chromosomes in the cell. Meiosis, which creates sex cells, forms cells with half the number of chromosomes in the original cell. Question four, which assertion is false? A, RNA is single-stranded. B, RNA contains uracil. C, DNA codes for proteins. D, DNA cannot be altered. Answer D, DNA can mutate and change. The other choices are true statements. Question five, assume that both parents have the recessive gene for cystic fibrosis. Any homozygous recessive progeny will develop the illness. What proportion of the progeny are expected to be carriers but not show symptoms of the illness? A, 0%, B, 25%, C, 50%, D, 100%. Answer, C, the gene for the disease is recessive, so only homozygous recessive offspring, AA, manifest the disease. An offspring that carries the recessive gene along with the dominant A gene, AA, will carry but not manifest the disease. In a Punnett square, this would mean two out of four offspring. Question six, a cell is immersed in a solution in which the concentration of solutes is greater inside the cell than outside. What are you expecting to happen to the cell? A, it will swell and possibly burst. B, it will shrivel and shrink. C, it will maintain its current size. D, it will grow a supportive cell wall. Answer, A. This describes a hypotonic situation. There are fewer dissolved particles outside the cell than inside. This may enable water to flow into the cell from the solution, swelling the cell, which may burst. Question seven, what is the role of phloem tissue in plant stems? A, it conducts water up through the stem. B, it conducts the energy of light to leaves. C, it conducts food throughout the plant. D, it conducts carbon dioxide throughout the plant. Answer C, Ilum conducts water. Choice A, phloem is the system of narrow tubes that transports sugars and other nutrients. Question eight, physical factors such as temperature and pH can alter enzyme activity because they have an effect on the enzyme's core. A, acidity, B, shape, C, chemistry, D, substrate. Answer B, the shape of an enzyme controls its fit with its substrate. Changes in temperature and or pH can alter an enzyme's shape. Question nine, which element of a plant's reproductive system has a distinct gender than the rest? A, stamen, B, pistil, C, stigma, D, style. Answer A, choice A, is the male reproductive organ in a flowering plant. The pistil, choice B, is the female reproductive organ. 
The stigma choice C is the top part of the pistil, and the style choice D is a slender stalk below the stigma. Question 10. What kind of symbiosis exists between a pneumonia bacterium and a human? A. Mutualism. B. Parasitism. C. Commensalism. D. Competition. Answer B. A parasitic relationship is one in which one organism benefits, in this case the bacterium, to the detriment of another, in this case the human. Question 11. The scientific name for a house cat is Phyllis catus. This indicates the house cat's scoring a norsklang. A. Kingdom, family, B. Order, subspecies, C. Phylum, class, D. Genus, species. Answer D. The Latin names by which we know certain animals are typically their genus and species names. In order, a house cat is from the kingdom Animalia, Phylum Chordata, Class Mammalia, Order Carnivora, Family Felidae, Genus Felis, and Species Catus. Question 12. Beeswax is an example of what type of molecule? A. Lipid B. Carbohydrate C. Protein D. Nucleic Acid Answer A. Waxes, oils, and fats are lipids. Question 13. What happens within a lysosome? A. Ribosomes are made. B. Food is produced. C. Water is stored. D. Food is digested. Answer D. The lysosome contains digestive enzymes. The job of a lysosome is to digest food for cells and break down cells' waste products. Question 14. What kind of living thing reproduces through binary fission? A. Mushroom. B. Blue whale. C. Rainbow trout. D. Salmonella. Answer D. In the asexual process known as bin binary fission, one parent cell divides into two offspring cells with DNA identical to the parent cells. Many bacteria, some algae, and some protozoa reproduce this way. Question 15. Chromosome replication occurs during which step of cell division? A. Prophase, B. Interphase, C. Anaphase, D. Telophase. Answer B. During this active phase of a cell's reproductive life, the cell produces nucleic acids and proteins and doubles its number of chromosomes. Question 16. In a strand of DNA, you would expect to see adenine paired with GOR. A. Cytosine. B. Uracil. C. Thymine. D. Guanine. Answer. C. In the twisted strand of DNA, the base adenine always pairs with thymine, and cytosine pairs with guanine. Uracil is found in RNA. Question 17. The X chromosome has a sex-linked characteristic called hemophilia. In the case of a male with hemophilia and a female carrier, what percentage of the progeny is likely to have the disease? A. 0 female, 2 male. B. 1 female, 0 male. C. 1 female, 2 male. D. 2 female, 1 male. Answer B. Picture a Punnett square. Reading the chart clockwise from top left, the cross would yield one female carrier, one female hemophiliac, one male hemophiliac, and one normal male who neither carries nor manifests the disease. Only one of the four, a female XHX, would be a carrier only. Question 18. What does this formula represent? A. Glycolysis. B. Cellular respiration. C. Photosynthesis. D. Electronic transport. Answer C. The formula represents carbon dioxide pairing with water to form a simple sugar and oxygen. This is what happens in the process of photosynthesis. Question 19. The mass of a combustion product was determined by three undergraduate researchers. The following weights were recorded, 5.14 grams, 5.16 grams, and 5.17 grams. How would you characterize the student's measurements if the product's known mass is 5.30 grams? A. Accurate. B. Precise. C. Both accurate and precise D. Neither accurate nor precise. Answer B. The students' measurements were precise in that they corresponded closely with each other. However, since the true measurement differed from theirs by at least 0.13 degrees, the measurements were not terribly accurate. Question 20. Which of the following claims about energy content is true? A. Decomposers, secondary consumers. B. Primary consumers, producers. C. Producers, secondary consumers. D. Secondary consumers, primary consumers.
The greatest energy content is at the base of the energy pyramid, where the producers of energy congregate. Therefore, producers, primary consumers, secondary consumers, decomposers. Question 21. How should a researcher evaluate the theory that consuming chocolate causes acne in teenagers? A. Take 100 teenagers and feed each one a different amount of chocolate daily for 60 days, then test for acne. B. Take 100 teenagers and feed 52 bars of chocolate daily for 60 days while the other 50 eat no chocolate, then test for acne. C. Take one teenager and feed him or her two bars of chocolate for 30 days and no chocolate for 30 days, then test for acne. D. Take 100 teenagers and feed them no chocolate for 30 days and two bars of chocolate apiece for 30 days, then test for acne. Answer B. Only this choice presents you with the control group and test group needed for a valid experiment. Question 22. Which of the following is not a step in the water cycle? A. Condensation B. Transpiration C. Nitrification D. Absorption Answer C. Nitrification. Choice C is a step in the nitrogen cycle. Condensation. Choice A is the change from gas to liquid that water vapor undergoes as it cools. Transpiration. Choice B is the loss of water through a plant's stomata. Absorption. Choice D is the intake of water from the water table by plant roots. Question 23. Why does chlorophyll appear green to us? A. It absorbs yellow and blue light. B. It primarily absorbs green light. C. It fails to absorb green light. D. It primarily absorbs red light. Answer C. Chlorophyll absorbs red and blue light but reflects green light. Question 24. Why are bacteria and blue-green algae commonly grouped together? A. Both are gymnosperms. B. Both are prokaryotes. C. Both are autotrophs. D. Both are pathogens. Answer B. Bacteria and blue-green algae are prokaryotes, organisms whose cells have no true nucleus. They are not gymnosperms, vascular plants whose seeds have no protective covering. Of the choices, only blue-green algae are autotrophs, organisms that make their own food through photosynthesis, and only certain bacteria may be pathogens, infectious organisms that spread disease. Question 25. Which of the following compounds includes glucose? A. Proteins, B. Lipids, C. Nucleic acids, D. Carbohydrates. Answer D. Simple carbohydrates are simple sugars. Complex carbohydrates are simple sugars linked with covalent bonds. Thank you for tuning in to our biology questions video. If you're hungry for more insightful content and looking to supercharge your HESI and ATIT's exam prep, you can find our comprehensive study guides by Edicatio Publishing on Amazon. Don't miss out on the opportunity to excel in your exams and pursue your dream career in healthcare. Happy studying!